Hi, and welcome to another episode of Five Business Rules. I'm Nicole Krug, founder and digital strategist of Socialite. And I am Monica Jansen, head kick-ass copywriter and strategist at Jansen Communications. So today we are talking about strategic planning. Um, if you are going through some slow times these days, um, this is a really good time to do some strategic planning. And it's one of those things that sounds really big and intimidating, um, especially when you talk about our first tip called a SWOT analysis, which stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Yes, I roll my eyes too. Um, but... <laughs> This does not have to be that complicated. Um, I'll give you the, uh, an example of, of how this is. My strengths. I'm really great at marketing strategy, and I have some good people on my team that can help with the tactical stuff. My weaknesses. Mm -hmm. I am a bottleneck. because Even though I have my team is awesome, it all comes through me through a review, which is a problem. Um, I'm also terrible at editing and checking for typos. Um, I know I, I do things, which just reel it off, and I look at the emails that I send later, and I'm like, oh, my God. Um, this is true. I've noticed that, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so opportunities for improved grammar. Um, but my opportunities. So I have speaking engagements planned. Um, and I have tons of content to work with. Um, and then threats. There are a million other people that do what I do. Um, and there is a lot of noise out there. So it's hard to stand out. So that, that took me five minutes. Right? Um, but if I create a goal... Um, I say, okay, I have speaking opportunities. That's my opportunity. Um, my goal from that is I want to sign up one new customer from every talk. Okay. Not too hard. And so then you can break those goals down from there, right? Like exactly. what are you going to, what are you going to say at, at the speaking engagement um, to entice people? And this is the, this is such a great exercise. This is brainstorming for the growth of your, of your mm -hmm. business. And that marketers are taught this. If you take marketing in college, mm -hmm. this is a 101 course. This is one of the first things yep. that you learn. So your tactics are exactly right. That's step three is just what are you going to do to get from A to B, right? And it can be really simple as let's say you want to write a blog. Okay, you're going to write um, your ta one task is what are you going to write about? Then you're going to write mm -hmm. it. Then you're going to do the social media. And you say, do I really need to go down? into that level of detail? Yes, you do, because step four is now you're going to assign the tasks and assign deadlines. So if you're gonna do it all yourself, that's fine. But if you're getting your team involved in other things, that's where you start to delegate so it actually gets to get done, right? Yeah. Um, I would argue though that even if it's you doing it and you don't have a team or you're not assigning anything to your team, assign this stuff to yourself and give yourself deadlines. Treat yourself like your own uh, like you're working for a client, you know, to really take this seriously. Don't start pushing it off. Exactly. So, so last but not least, your, five, your fifth step in strategy is to assess the plan. Um, mm -hmm. Now, some of this, this might be the success of where you're going, or some of it, it might, once you've gone through your tasks and deadlines, you might be going, you know, I really should be doing social media. But once you go through it, you say, you know what, I don't have the budget or I don't have the time. So I'm going to push that off for right now and even the fact that you figured out you're not going to do something has great value because it frees up your time to focus on the things that you are going to do exactly there's nothing wrong with taking something off of your plate because you don't want to do it or because it's not working that's great information to have mm -hmm. so strategic planning it's not as intimidating as it, as it sounds, um, but it just, it starts with some basics, but it's a really good exercise. Even if you've been in business for a while and things are humming along, it's a really good exercise, like Monica said, to just kind of go through and brainstorm, especially these days when you've got changing business all around you. So yeah, exactly. if you have questions, please let us know. Um, if you need somebody to brainstorm with, with you, please let us know that too. Um, but if this is valuable, we'd love it if you shared or liked and come back next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.